Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Cocktails with the Kansas Flamingo Chef, and this is Christian. Um, I'm responsible for him. So That's uh, true. Yeah, it is what it is. So uh, we're going to try some odd beer. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Scheinerbach. Scheinerbach is a uh, product out of Texas. It's a uh, traditional German heavy Bach. It's actually a really good beer. Uh, but for some reason, over the last few years, Shiner has decided they need to make everything. And they've got some weird stuff they're putting out on the market. In fact, I was at Total Wine the other day, and they were actually doing a sampling of two new Shiner, what they call Tex-Mix IPAs. And they were absolutely weird. Uh, one of them tasted like you're drinking a bowl of grapefruit, and the other uh, was a bowl of acid. I was really not impressed. Then I was at the Lick Bear, the grocery store, and I saw that they've got another one they just came out with, which is a peach wheat. And I really want to get a bottle just to make him drink it, but then we have them in 12 packs. So, anyway. No, thank you. <laughs> so I found this six pack of mixed cans, and of course it had shiner in it but they had a product i've never heard of before shiner light yes ladies and gentlemen now this says it's a blonde so i'm guessing it's going to be shiner's answer to bud light <laughs> so this will be wonderful um then let's go down the weird scale here we've got black lager that could have possibilities um Ruby Redbird, and it's got a big grapefruit on it, so I'm guessing that's what it's going to be. But it does say it's only 95 calories, so you know you got to take the good with the bad, right? Uh, you're in love with this, right? Uh, this one is Shiner's Mexican Cerveza, Orale, and it's got a Chaca Cabra on the side, which is interesting. Uh, an orange one on one side and a green on the other, and a big agave plant on the bottom. So I'm hoping there might be some agave flavor in it. Mm, I'm betting there is. And then last but not least, the one that kind of scares me: Shiner sea salt and lime. <laughs> now we know what this is, so we can set this off to the side. <laughs> Where do we start? Pick one. No, no, you, you, you're the guinea pig. You're, mm. the, you're the victim. Let's start with the, the black lager. The black lager, he says. All right. I can only now, when you're opening beer, you need the Flamingo beer opener because it's obnoxious. Mm. Ooh, that actually that looks of, like a stout. That kind of looks good, actually. Um, it, it kind of smells like, well, I don't want to say what it smells like, because if I did, I, there's no way I would drink it. Let's just put it this way. If you have a party at your house and way too many people use the facility, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much what it smells like. All right, good luck. Salute. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not a fan. That's, uh, that's... That that tastes like old motor oil. <laughs> That's not good. All right, so we're gonna rank these on, on a scale of one to five. One being I'm never buying this for any reason again. Actually, it'd be zero. One being I buy it just to give somebody else, and five like being, five being I really like this. I'm going with zero on that one. I wouldn't that, serve that to my work. I mean, that's really, really. Oh, I'm, in fact, I'm not drinking the rest of this. We'll uh, I'll pick this up in a minute. So we're back. We got freshly clean glasses, and uh, we're gonna need to find somewhere to get rid of that. As Christian just said, he was hoping it would be a stout. When we poured it in the glass, it looked like a stout. It looked not, almost mm -hmm. like a Guinness, just without the the big nitrous build. 
but oh, that's awful. But the last taste I got from it was aftertaste, which yeah. kind of seemed like chewing on an Earl Grey tea bag. It's a good point. It had a almost a burnt flavor. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. One one out of five, and that's being generous. Uh, zero is probably more realistic. Okay. Pick your pick your poison. All right, we're going with the the ruby red bird. So I I didn't read the can and I don't have my glasses on, but I, it says Texas ruby red grapefruit lager. How bad could it be? Well, it could be as bad as that, so we probably shouldn't say that out loud, right? It smells better. Mm -hmm. I, I will tell you that up front. And the color's not bad. It smells like grapefruits. Ooh, it smells like, yeah, it does smell like grapefruit. Okay, so my thoughts, there's not much to it. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's a little bit of tartness at the very end, which would be the grapefruit, but mainly it just tastes like like a Budweiser or something like that. It's a really empty, light lager. Yeah. There's not a lot to it. I mean, it, it's summer beer. If, if it was on sale, I'd buy that, yeah, because it, it comes in cans, uh, but... I wouldn't go out of my way trying to find it, put it to you that way. What it do does kind of have a little bit, just a little bit of a. Of and of a course, the selling grapefruit. point is going to be that it's a good-looking can and it's only ninety-five calories. So that's yeah. you know that's its selling point. All right, so three, maybe yeah, about that. It, it's, uh, it, I, I wouldn't like I said I wouldn't go to the liquor store and go hey I need it. 24 pack of ruby red, but if I was on the boat, I'd drink that. Yeah, exactly. It'd be good later. Yeah. All right. Next on the wheel of destiny. The light, I guess. The shiner. Light. Get it out of the way. Now, is it me or does that look like a Labatt blue can? Yep. <laughs> It tastes like a bad. I can drink that. <laughs> All right. Well, that is about as pale as you're gonna get. I mean, that is that looks like white lager. <laughs> uh, so it's almost the color of a bat. <laughs> kind of smells like what? Is that Canadian <laughs> smell? Yeah. Yep, that's basically what it is. Very similar to Labatt Blue or uh, something of that that caliber. It's uh, I'll tell you what it reminds me of: Rolling Rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really similar to Rolling Rock. That extra pale ale, quote unquote, which is just watered down blonde lager. Yeah, really, it's very similar to Rolling Rock. So it's drinkable. It's not good, but it's drinkable. Again, if you're at the liquor store and you're headed to the lake and you need a can you need a bunch of cans of beer and they have this and it's on sale, that's fine. I, I wouldn't set out today to try to find it to try it, is what I'm telling you. This isn't going well. No. <laughs> All right, so far, <clears throat> we have absolutely not. If it's on sale, and if it's on sale and they don't have anything else, that's basically where we're at right now. Or if you really like, like, you know, Bat Blue or uh, Rolling Rock, it would be fine. If you're a Bud Light person, which I pity you, this would be fine. Okay. Put that into two. All right, you got two to go. 
I think we have to end with the salt and lime. I, just, I don't think it, I, it, it has to. Unfortunately, that's the way it's going to have to go. <laughs> All right, so I like cervezas. I love cerveza. And uh, we're going to see. I mean, it's Texas beer, right? And especially in Mandelo. All right. Well, it smells like cerveza. It looks like a cerveza. It's a little paler. It is a little pale. Well, the color is more similar to like a Corona. Yeah, it kind of has the same and smell as a Corona. And it smells kind of like a Corona without the formaldehyde. If you hear a weird sound in the background, Panther is in the next room playing with his uh, turbo scratcher thing, and he's having a great time throwing the ball as fast as he can and looking at us to see if we notice. So that's the noise. The house isn't falling down. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Salute. What, the, what was this called again? Orale. Orale. Okay. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. It, it's not great, but it's not bad. It's. Uh, I will say it's better than Corona. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, doesn't have that lingering formaldehyde flavor. Um, I would really like this better if it had some agave nectar in it, I think. Probably, yeah. I, I think that would really bring it up a little bit, but it's not bad. Um, if you're looking for a inexpensive cerveza product, I I'd go with that. It's it, it's uh, it, it's really not a lot different in flavor than Modelo. It, it's a little weaker, right? But it's not it, it's not pungent mm -hmm. like a Corona or a Tecate. It's it's very uh, very mild. I go go with tacos. Of course, everything that's good Including more tacos. Mm, that's a fact. All right, so we are about to reach the conclusion here. I just want to take a minute to remind everybody, visit my website, which is kansasflamingochef.com. And if you have uh, questions as to anything we've done here today, I pity you, first of all. But secondly, you are welcome to email me at bill at kansasflamingochef.com or billstout at chef.net. Visit, like, and subscribe to the YouTube channels. That's how it makes it possible for us to continue to do this stupidity. And uh, if you have something you'd like us to sample, as long as it's not called Malort's, oh. we're probably willing to do it. <laughs> and uh, also, if you have a food you'd like to see me cook, submit that as well. All right, we're going to do this last one. I have very low expectations at this point, but at least it sounds bad. See, <laughs> see salt and lime. <laughs> You know, if you're if you're looking for cheap entertainment, granted we're gonna throw away a lot of bad beer, but you're going to anyway. But this, uh, what a great way to to uh, torture your children. So, <laughs> too bad his brother isn't here. He would. Uh, I, I think he might enjoy this even less. What is that color? I don't know. I was trying to figure that out too. It's a little reminiscent of. Uh, uh, a sample I gave at the doctor. So. <laughs> oh dear God, what is that smell? I haven't smelled it yet, it, so apparently I'm in for a treat. It, it's got a lot of lime, but. Holy cow. There's something else. Oh, that's that's kind of vile. Um, yeah, alright. I may need some tequila here in a minute. Alright, here we go. This is the last one. This, you know, we, we, we've we've made our way through hell, and now we can step out the other side. Well, that's weird. I will say this: it tastes a lot better than it smells. Um, it actually doesn't taste bad. There, uh, it, it it tastes like the best way I can explain it. If you took a Miller Lite. And you put a little bit of beer salt in it, and a cup, and maybe a lime. About in two the beer. wedges. Yeah, About two that's wedges. what this tastes like. So for this, a really weak uh, pale ale. Yeah, th this is drinkable. I 
I'm not going out looking for it, but it's drinkable. I think it would be better, honestly, drinking it straight from the can because you wouldn't get the mm -hmm. the nose of it so fast because the nose of it's terrible, but the flavor is actually pretty good. So if you just, well, let's find out. Oh, yeah. It's much better that way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, once again, you get more salt that way. That's right. Salt this that way. This is something I would I would buy and take to the pool or to the mm -hmm. lake and drink it out of the can, and you'd be perfectly fine with it. Th I'm just going to go out on limb and say, of all of these, these two were the only ones I would buy again. This one I would buy if I was needing some cerveza and didn't have anything in the fridge, and this was available. This I'd buy just because it's light. And uh, sit, like I said, sitting poolside or when it's really hot, this would be okay as long as you drink it straight out of the can and not try and do it this way. Because this way you got to smell it first and you don't want to do that. But what have we learned today? We've learned that when you go to the grocery store and there's a six pack that says variety pack, not always the best decision. <laughs> We've also learned. Shiner should stay in its wheelhouse and mm -hmm. make a really good Shiner box, and that would solve all of these problems. Definitely shouldn't have, should never have made the no, black that, that, that's, lager. That's awful. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of these, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you uh, had a good time laughing at our misery, and I can tell you it's not the worst beer I've ever consumed, but it's certainly not among the top. See you again for the next one.